there's a lot of people, and especially like the gym community. I've got friends that own gyms, like they just copped it so bad. Why haven't they opened the real? Because I, I couldn't believe when Tony told, told me that. He says, yeah, he said, everything's open. He says, but the gyms. I'm like, what? I said, this gyms. is like, this is a year on now. I said, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I said, why are the, I mean, because he's been on the national news. I've seen, I've seen his, I've been keeping up on his Instagram. Yeah. And, and I mean, he's been all over the place campaigning. It's like, guys, why? I mean, I can't believe yeah. that the gyms start, still haven't yeah. reopened. It's crazy. And, and, and that's, yeah, that's got all of us baffled too, because it's like, we've been in, we know what gym owners are like now. Gym owners, ever since we had even the first wave, like last year, yeah, they are just, yeah, they're so strict with all of their deep cleaning. They've got spray bottles, hand sanitizer, like on every single station almost. Um, <laughs> yeah. When I go to the supermarket, you've got people sneezing. You've got people that don't even have their masks. You know, they're just wearing their mask around their neck. It's not yeah. even covering their mouth or their nose. Oh. You know, they, and everyone's touching the same fruits and vegetables and all the, the deli items and things. So it's just like, it's it sounds just so backwards to me. And I understand where, you know, Tony's coming from. One of my friends, um, Aaron, he's got a gym as well. And he stayed open the first lockdown and had police like, you know, raid the building and stuff like that. Oh my god! Well, it's we we, we got Nate, we got Nathan Diasha doing that in the UK. You know, yeah, that, I saw that. oh I saw man, that. I mean, that, I mean, everything's back to. I mean, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, everything's back to normal in the UK. But um, so, how is this affecting the bodybuilding scene? Then, what's going on with shows? What's going? What's happening with the Arnold Australia? Do you have any information? So, not really. I, I think the the bodybuilding scene here, obviously, the amateur shows are, are going on ahead. So they've got their season B, which is going to be October. Okay. Um, and 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 that's that's going to be going ahead. Um, but as far as um anything goes for for pros, absolutely nothing. Like like I said, there's still a couple of pros that I know are trying to um to get like exemptions to to travel overseas to compete. Yeah. They've applied for them, but still, but still nothing. They haven't heard back anything from um from the government. So I don't know. It's it's super frustrating for me because, as you know, I still haven't even made my bloody <laughs> oh, day yet. Oh, no. Oh. So I'm like, fucking hell, I'm going to be 40 years old before I haven't even done I'm going to retire before I can even compete again. Oh, <laughs> so, so, I mean, do you, uh, do you fancy just like jumping on a prep and then just hoping for the best that, you know, your paperwork and you can get some exemption and you can get abroad to compete? Because all you literally be able need yeah. to be able to do for you is just to be able to get out of the country yeah. just to step on stage, correct? But yeah, but that's the thing. But at the moment, though, that just looks super grim. Like I know oh. Tony's been saying a lot of things about, um, you know, trying to get athletes or to go overseas, and it just seems like at the moment, just hitting their head against a brick wall. Like there's just mm. no, no answers. Um, and it's like the government. Yeah, they don't care about the gym industry. They don't care about athletes. So, I, to be honest, I really don't know what's going to happen and unless they now that um, we've just got we've just reopened here in in Melbourne again, like as of Thursday um, yeah. last week. So hopefully we start getting some normality back and we don't have another another wave because every time we watch the news, that's all they're talking about is, oh, there might be another, another breakout. Oh. And they've just got everybody petrified to go yeah. anywhere.